Hey guys, Fleet Admiral Zero One here, and today I am kicking off the new year with something special. Now, before I begin this video, I'm gonna give you a little context. In a time long before I knew access to animation software on a home computer was ever a thing, I was actually planning on making my movies the old fashioned way. With physical models and practical effects. So today, I'm going to do a showcase of everything that's in this box. So without further ado, let's get into it. So to begin, I'm going to show you the things that were my original medium for space scenes. While these are uh, new ones, not the originals that I used in my first filmmaking attempt. These are the three Star Trek Micro Machines limited edition collector sets. They are all containing 16 ships plus an extra one or two. And I remember most of all using the ones from this one here, the first one for my first filmmaking attempt, as well as a few from this one, but I didn't get my hands on this one until recently. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna show you in detail the, the 16 ships that are in these videos. Sorry if I stuttered, I'm still new. This is my first time I've ever recorded anything. So, so I relied mostly on this one in my first video making attempt from 2006. So it has some basic entry level uh, just ships from the Star Trek universe. You know, there's the TOS, Enterprise, Klingon, Romulan, movie, Excelsior, Klingon, Reliant. A, T a couple of TNG ships, Enterprise-D, Klingon Vorcha, Enterprise-D Shuttle, Borg Cube, Romulan Warbird, Ferengi Marauder, and then Deep Space Nine, we've got the Station, a Cardassian Galore class cruiser, a runabout shuttle, and then up, up here on the top, and this one was my absolute favorite, the Enterprise-A. Okay, next up, we have this one, which I, which I aptly nicknamed Federation Starships Galore. Um... We had three ships from the Star Trek movie Generations, which is honestly my favorite because both Kirk and Picard were in it. So we have the Enterprise D, the Nebula class USS, USS Farragut, Earth Space Dock, and then we have a couple more just miscellaneous Federation ships. There's the USS Stargazer, uh, the Defiant, Deep Space K-7, Shuttlecraft Galileo, a Romulan scout ship, the Enterprise C. Another Enterprise D, only this one has saucer separation capability, the SS Botany Bay Freighter, the USS Grissom, and the Vulcan Ciroc Shuttle. And then up here, the three ships that appeared in the Star Trek The Next Generation series finale. Um, the Enterprise D with third engine, the USS Pasteur Medical Cruiser, and the Klingon Negvar class warship. And then finally over here, Okay, this one was a doozy. The reason I never used this one in my first filmmaking attempt was because getting my hands on it was almost impossible. According to my sources, unlike the other two which were massively produced, only so many of this one were produced. So, I've, it's no surprise that I've seen this one go for a couple hundred bucks, even a thousand in one case, but I got lucky and got it for $80, so I have no intention of opening this one. So... There's a, a Bajoran freighter, the uh, fighter, USS Voyager, another Cardassian ship, I think that one's the Keldon class, um, uh, Kazon ships, um, Numiri raider, Jem'Hadar cruiser, uh, fighter, uh, the USS Saratoga, Earth space dock shuttle, not sure what that is, Miradorn raider, Karema freighter, Voyager Shuttle, Maquis Raider, and the Enterprise E, my second favorite Enterprise. Now, what's interesting about this one is that it's actually based on the concept art for the ship and not the final design, so I think that's what makes it even more special. So, yeah, despite the fact that these things are tiny, these were the means that I used to make my first filmmaking attempt. All right, so next up, we've got the mini ships that I had. A lot of these were used in my first filmmaking attempt, particularly the ones up to the upper left corner, the Star Trek ones. 
Now, some of the Star Wars ones got used as well, but very few of them. All right, so let's get going. I've got these organized by series, and I'll start at the top left. All right, so first up, we've got a uh, board cube. I believe this one has the ability to open up, see what it looks like on the inside. Ah, yeah, there's a couple of mini figures in there. I'll deal with that later, close it back up later. And then, so next up, we have, now these ones I acquired in 2016. These are the three ships from Star Trek Beyond. We've got the uh, kind of refit, Enterprise, the Krill, I think it was, ship and the USS Franklin. Now this one next up is also a, a Kelvin timeline, a constitution class vessel, but as you can no as you see it has a uh, a custom decal. I don't know if you can read that. That's my uh, ship in the game Star Trek Online. Next up we have the USS Saratoga and the USS Reliant. And this kit bashed um, Enterprise A because you can see I kind of repainted this one. Yeah, these toys had a lot of play. Um, next up, also from Star Trek Online, another USS Titanic. Um, this one's my other ship in the game. Now about these two, the ones from Star Trek Online, they are... Um, Star Trek Online has this 3D... has this thing where you can 3D print your ship. All right, so next up we have the Enterprise B. That's a micro machine. You can see, yeah, you can see it's it's a uh, pretty bowed. Um, and then another J.J. Abrams Enterprise. I, this one's battle damage, so it's Star Trek Into Darkness. Here we have the saucer separatable separatable Enterprise D, Klingon Vorchok cruiser, the Stargazer. I have no idea why that one's yellow. I think it has a bit to do with uh, the fact that it's the gold model of it in Captain Picard's ready room. Here we have a Romulan Warbird, a D7, you know, the paint works pretty chipped up on this one, a Bird of Prey, and a Ferengi Marauder. On the Bird of Prey, I had to do a little bit of repair on it. Um, a Cardassian Galore Cruiser, Deep Space Nine, another Borg Vessel, Earth Space Dock, um, a Romulan Bird of Prey from TOS that I did some modifications to, and Shuttlecraft Galileo. Now over here we have Space Station K-7, the Enterprise D shuttle, and the Excelsior. I used to have the TOS Enterprise, but I'm not sure what happened to it. Anyway, moving on, now we're into Battlestar Galactica. Starting off, we have the Battlestar Pegasus, Colonial One, uh, Classic 78 version, Colonial Viper, Cylon Raider, and the Galactica itself. Now moving on to the next series, we have Babylon 5. Here's the Minbari White Star, um, Earth Alliance uh, Planetary Shuttle, Star Fury Fighter, um, Shadow Battle Crab, Omega Class Cruiser, which is my absolute favorite, um, Vorlon Cruiser, uh, the Babylon 5 Station, um, Vorlon Freighter, Fighter, I think, and then a couple more Omega Cruisers. Now, these ones are actually board game pieces. I'm not sure how, where I got them from, but whatever. I have them. And finally, we have the Minbari Cruiser, which is my mother's favorite. Next up, we move over to Halo. Um, here's the Scorpion Fighter. Uh, for, uh, no, not Fighter. Tank. Um, the Mongoose. Um, the Banished Wraith from Halo Wars 2. Um, Covenant Ghost, and the Warhog, which is my favorite Halo vehicle. Now, moving on over here, I forgot, we have one more Star Trek ship. We have a much larger scale Romulan Warbird and the Runabout Shuttle. And finally, we get to the section you've been waiting for, Star Wars. Okay, starting off, we have Kylo Ren's uh, TIE Fighter from The Last Jedi. I should probably get that fixed. Um, we have a Confederate droid starfighter, a little Lego mock-up Millennium Falcon, an A-Wing, I think that one's from, uh, Star Wars Rebels, but don't quote me on that, um, General Grievous's ship, the Providence, um, uh, Micro Machines Rebel Blockade Runner, the Ghost from Rebels, Mon Calamari Cruiser, Micro Machines Star Destroyer, um, 
a pair of Republic Venator class cruisers. I've had the one on the left since, I've had the one, yeah, the one on the left since 2008. You can see it's pretty badly chipped up. I got the one on the right um, about a year ago to replace the one on the left. Okay, here's Boba Fett's ship, uh, the Slave One. First Order Star Destroyer, another Rebel Blockade Runner. The very first Star Wars ship I ever acquired, the Millennium Falcon. Um, little mini ARC-170 fighter. Um, Darth Vader's Jedi Starfighter. Um, this is from the Legends, like right after Revenge of the Sith. Uh, mini Y-Wing and a mini V-Wing. Another, uh, another Providence-class cruiser. Um, I think this one's an ATA variant from Rogue One. Imperial Shuttle. Another ATAT, um, Resistance X-Wing, another droid starfighter, uh, the transport ship from Rogue One, another A-Wing, Poe Dameron's X-Wing, uh, Platinum uh, TIE, fight, TIE Bomber, excuse me, um, a model kit Star Destroyer, which is my favorite Star Wars ship, um, the ATST Walker, uh, the TIE. Uh, Avenger, I think it was. I know it's from Rogue One. Um, Arc 170. Um, Imperial Interdictor class cruiser. The Imperial Transport from Rogue One. Uh, a modified Jedi Starfighter. I think this is, was Anakin Skywalker. Uh, Je another Episode 3 style Jedi Starfighter. Um, and another one, a blue one. Uh, a Rebel Alliance B Wing. Obi-Wan's Jedi fighter from episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Um, a Republic Trooper thing, I'm not quite sure what that is. Darth Vader's TIE fighter from A New Hope. A Republic gunship that's been redressed with Imperial uh, markings. A Republic gunship still in Republic colors. Another ARC-170. Another Star Destroyer. Naboo fighter. General Grievous's ship, uh, the strike bomber from Battlefront, Imperial Executor cruiser, another Imperial shuttle, First Order shuttle, uh, First Order TIE fighter, Imperial TIE fighter, Force Awakens Millennium Falcon, Y Wing, uh, the bomber from The Last Jedi, uh, um, Jabba the Hutt's uh, sail barge, Nebulon B frigate. Another Star Destroyer, and finally a pair of X-Wings. Now I think I had a Republic ATTE Walker in my box somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is, so uh, I'll probably get back to that later. But anyway, those are the mini ships. Next up we have the larger ships. Hey, I found the uh, the ATTE Walker that I mentioned, so uh before I get into the next section, just going to throw in this little interjection. All right. The Death Star. Now, all right, so these ones were fairly more recent to the collection. That I never used them in any videos until today. But, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Now, these are all Star Trek ships with the exception of the three Lego Star Wars ships and the three Halo ships. So, just like last time, I'm just going to go through them one by one. Alright, so first up we have the uh, Kelvin Timeline uh, Constitution Class Enterprise, the uh, um, USS Prometheus, I think it is, the Vengeance from Into Darkness, um, the USS Discovery, the, uh, the Voyager, the ISS Enterprise D from the... Um, uh, TNG Mirror Universe comics that recently came out. Mirror Universe uh, Defiant. Again, the USS Reliant, which besides the Enterprise is one of my favorite Star Trek ships. Um, the USS, uh, I'm probably going to butcher this pronunciation, pronunciation, Kyushu. I think this ship was in Wolf, the Battle of Wolf 359. Um, another USS Reliant, this one's battle damaged. Um, Another Miranda class ship, the USS Majestic, also battle damaged. The Akira class, the uh, Enterprise B, Enterprise NX01, 
uh, TMP Enterprise, which is one of, again, my favorite Enterprise. Um, Mirror Universe NX-01, Enterprise-E, uh, Enterprise-A, uh, the Enterprise-F from Star Trek Online, uh, Klingon Bird of Prey, Klingon Negvar, Romulan Warbird, the Star Trek Into Darkness Bird of Prey, which kind of looks like a beetle to me, the Excelsior, Jem'Hadar Battleship, USS Landry, Enterprise C, uh, USS Stargazer, USS Titan, the, the awesome fan-made design by Sean T. I'm just going to call him Sean T because I can't pronounce his last name for crap. The USS Kelvin, the USS Saratoga, Klingon D7. Oh, I think I've got a little bit of a paint chip there. I'll fix that. The Narada. The TOS Enterprise, Warship Voyager from the episode Living Witness, um, the USS Jaeger, the Kitbash ship that everyone loves to hate, the Enterprise D, uh, Enterprise D from the final episode, um, TOS Enterprise Kitbash model, classic. Romulan Bird of Prey, another Enterprise D, the USS Yorktown, another TOS Enterprise, and finally the USS, uh, is that the Honshu, a Nebula class ship. And then over here, we have my favorite ship in this lineup, the Star Trek Discovery Enterprise. I like this one most of all because, because, um, a modern interpretation of the original design. I feel like the art team, the art designer, Matthew Jeffer, uh, not Matthew Jeffries, John Eves did an exemplary job modernizing Matthew Jeffries' original design. All right, so we have a much larger scale uh, X-Wing, a Lego TIE Interceptor, um, a V-Wing. Over here we have a... Um, not really a sci-fi ship, but I decided to include it anyway, an FA-18 Hornet. And over here we have the three Halo ships that I have. We have the Spirit of Fire from Halo Wars, uh, Covenant Cruiser, and the Pillar of Autumn. Alright, so that's the larger scale ships. Next up, I get into the figurines themselves. Alright, so the first in my action figure lineup is going to be Babylon 5, that science fiction series that's so awesome but nobody remembers. Alright, so first of all, we have the good captain, John Sheridan. You might recognize him as Tron. Uh, Dr. Stephen Franklin. Commander Susan Ivanova. Commander, no not Commander, uh, Security Chief Michael Garibaldi. The Agent, Bester. That's Chekhov, by the way. Um, Delenn and Lanier. Londo Malari and his associate, Veer. The Drazi Ambassador and Marcus the Ranger. Ambassador Jakar of Narn and the, uh, I'm not sure who that guy is. I think he's the Pach Mara. And finally, Lita, the telepath. One more Babylon 5 figure that I forgot to mention. Ambassador Kosh, the Vorlon. Okay, another interjection between sections, as these are the only two figures from these two series that I have. So, here's Miranda Lawson from Mass Effect and Captain Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. All right. Alrighty, so next up we have Halo. So, I'm gonna start at the top with the aliens. Okay, so first up we have the Skirmisher from Halo Reach, uh, Jump Jetpack Brute from Halo 3, um, the Brute Captain and Brute, brute War Chieftain from Halo 3, um, Atriox from Halo Wars 2 on the left, and Tartarus from Halo 2 on the right. A flood-infected marine, um, a grunt from Halo 3, a couple of grunts from Halo Reach, a couple of grunts from Halo 4. 
Next up, we have the Elite Jewel Umdama from Halos 4 and 5, the Elite Zealot from Halo 4, a uh, multiplayer Elite General from Halo Reach, and the Campaign Elite General, and the Elite Miner from Halo Reach. Okay, next up we have the um, Elite Major from Halo 3, um, the Elite... I think, I'm not Ranger, that's, um, well, whatever, um, the, um, Elite Stealth from Halo 3, um, Commander Vadami, the Shipmaster, also known as Halfjaw from Halos 2 and 3, the Arbiter from Halo Wars, and the Arbiter from Halo 3, another Halo 3 Elite, and a Halo Reach Brute. Moving on to the Humans Forces, we have a couple of Halo Reach Marines, Sergeant Johnson, Captain Keys, The Rookie from ODST, um, Gunnery Sergeant Buck, and Commander Dare from ODST, a Halo 3 Marine, an ODST soldier, um, uh, Spartan Jerome from Halo Wars, a um, couple of miscellaneous Spartans, um, the one on the left is from Reach, the one on the right is from 3. Um, um, Spartan Mark V, Halo 3, Halo 4 Spartan. Um, most of Fire Team Osiris, I don't have Veil. Um, Spartan Lock, Spartan Tanaka, Spartan Buck, yeah. And uh, Spartan Buck with his helmet on. Um, another Halo Reach Spartan. Now these three are kind of cool. The, uh, they transition from fully opaque to active camo. Uh, it's a Spartan Mark VI. Um, Spartan Mark V, uh, Master Chief and Blue Team with uh, the way they appeared in the Halo Legends cartoon. A um, couple more miscellaneous Spartans, one from Reach, one from Halo 3. And Noble Team, we've got Carter, Cat, June, Emil, George, and Six. And finally, we've got Cortana and all the Master Chiefs that I've got. So there's there's Halo 4 Cortana, a couple of Halo 4 Chief, Halo 2 Chief, and my favorite, Halo 3 Chief. Now, I could go through this baggie, which is all the Halo uh, gizmos that came with these figures that I have, but that would probably make this video already go on rather long, so I'm going to skip over those. Okay, one more Halo figure that I forgot to mention. We have Sergeant Forge from Halo War. All right, next up on the list, we have Star Trek. Now, I'm going to split this section up into several parts because I have larger figures and smaller figures. So, I'm going to start with the larger figures. All right, so, first off, we have a couple of Star Trek original series characters. We have Kor, the Klingon, uh, Mary Universe, Kirk, and Sulu, um, Captain Archer, uh, Major Kira, and Miles O'Brien from Deep Space Nine. Jadzia Dax wearing a TOS style uniform as seen in the episode Trials and Tribulations, I think that is. Um, Dr. Bashir, Captain Sisko, Klingon General Martok, Commander Riker, and Captain Picard. Riker with the way he appeared in TNG Season 1, Picard the way he appeared in the movies. Oh, and uh, this Romulan. All right, here's the smaller scale Star Trek figures that I've got, so let's begin. Okay, starting in the upper left corner, we have some crew from the from the Starship Voyager. We have Balana Torres, Kess, the Doctor, Captain Janeway. Um, the characters I have from the 2009 film, we've got Nero, Captain Pike, and a smaller scale Captain Pike. A couple of Borg, the... Uh, TNG crew, we've got, we've got Captain Picard, Commander Riker, Counselor Troy, Lieutenant Yar, Data, LaForge, and Worf. I don't know what happened to LaForge's visor. All right, so we've got next up we've got we've got Q, Lieutenant Barkley, Lieutenant Dax from Deep Space Nine, Major Kira, Quark, uh, the Vorgon from the uh, I forget what the name of the episode was, but they were some time traveler. Um, um, Lieutenant Yar's time-displaced daughter, the Romulan known as Sela. Uh, Lieutenant Worf, again, in some kind of disguise. I'm not sure what episode that's from. 
a Cardassian, that guy, a, a Nausicaan, um, Commander Data disguised as a Romulan, a Kazon from Voyager, another Cardassian, Captain Kirk in a uh, space suit, Captain Picard in a space suit, Dr. Crusher from both of these are from First Contact. Okay, we've got the TNG crew again, this time as seen in the movie Star Trek Generation. So we've got Commander Riker, Mr. Worf, Data, Dr. Crusher, Captain Picard, and the villain from that movie, Dr. Soren. We've got Mr. Sulu and Dr. McCoy from the 1979 film. We've got General Chang. We've got Khan, uh, uh, movie-era Captain Kirk. Decided to have those two next to each other. Uh, Movie-era Chekhov, Lieutenant Savick. And finally, we get into the TOS-era stuff. We've got the Gorn and Captain Kirk. Decide again, decided to have those two next to each other because enemies. Um, so we've got Kirk, we've got Sulu, Chekhov, Uhura. We've got Spock, Dr. McCoy, and Scotty. Now, for some reason, I somehow ended up with two Spocks. I don't know why. All right, before I proceed into the final section of this video, I'm just gonna throw in this section. I was kind of contemplating whether or not to do it, but I kind of lobbied for it. So here's the part of the collection that never made it out of the packaging. All right, so let's begin. Up here at the upper left corner, we have this uh, game piece ship. It's the Imperial Raider. You might recognize it from the Star Wars Battlefront II campaign. Next up, we have a couple of Overwatch characters. We have Mercy, and I'm not sure who that character is. My sister would know. And we have Tracer. Next up, we have the versions of Commander Ryder from Mass Effect Andromeda, Sarah and Scott. We have a droid Tri-Fighter. Um, we have Lando Calrissian. We have Kira and that snow trooper from Solo a Star Wars story. We have a special ops Spartan from Halo Wars. We have Captain Elizabeth Lockley who replaced Commander Ivanova on the final season of Babylon 5. We have from McFarlane Toys Kirk and Picard again. We have Darth Vader and Princess Leia. We have Spartan Locke with his helmet off. We have a Star Destroyer and a Mon Calamari cruiser. Then there's this four-figure set from this, from Doctor Who's, uh, the I believe the yeah the uh, tenth Doctor's first Christmas special, Voyage of the Damned, that featured a starship adaptation of the Titanic. Next up, there's a couple of Babylon Five micro machines. We've got Earth Force One, a Narn cruiser, and a freighter, and another Babylon Five ship, a Hyperion class battle cruiser. From Halo, a Banshee Starfighter, the classic Battlestar Galactica, Captain Marvel, and Luke and Leia from the Death Star Rescue. We've got the Soldier from Team Fortress 2. We have Padme Amidala. We have these game board pieces from the Bioshock Infinite. And finally, my two favorite from these lot, Elizabeth and Booker from Bioshock Infinite. Another Marvel figure, we have Black Widow. Okay, okay one final interjection. This uh, figure from Tron. Okay. And now for the final segment of the video, which just like the Star Trek section will be split up into two parts because I have large scale figures and small scale figures. So we'll do the small scale figures first. All right, so we have General Grievous. We've got a super battle droid, a spider droid, a clone arc trooper. I think that's an arc trooper. A couple of clone troopers. We have one on the left, which is early empire, and we have clone airborne trooper. We have a couple of generic clone troopers. There's the Utapau Legion, the 501st Legion. And we have an Imperial Snow Trooper. We have Grand Moff Tarkin. We've got the Death Star Technician. We've got a couple of Storm Troopers. We've got a First Order Flame Trooper. We've got this guy. I can't remember his name. Jergerod, that's it. He was the commander of the second Death Star. We've got 
a shadow stormtrooper we've got a scout trooper we've got a couple of rebel soldiers we have a couple of battle droids we've got it's a trap admiral akbar one more battle droid we have a droidica we have another general grievous we have Django Fett. We have Asharad Het. He's from the comics. He's a, a Tusken Raider who's also a Jedi. We have General Hux. We have, I believe this is Viceroy Gunray. If not, he's just another Cater Nemoidian. We have a couple of Obi-Wans. We've got Mace Windu. We've got Anakin and Padme. We've got a couple Darth Vaders. We have all the different versions of Leia from across the movies. We've got another Padme. We have Anakin and Ahsoka. We've got Jedi Master Ki-Adi Mundi. We have Lando Calrissian. We've got a couple versions of Han Solo from across the different movies. And yes, I'm including Indiana Jones in this bit. We have M Chancellor Palpatine and the four Jedi that tried to fight him. We have Luke Skywalker on Hoth. We've got another Palpatine. We've got Luke Skywalker at the ceremony. We have a First Order Stormtrooper. Storm we have Darth Maul. We have Poe Dameron. We have Starkiller from The Force Unleashed. We have a couple of Jawas. We've got Chewbacca. We've got R2-D2 and C-3PO. A couple more Chewbaccas. An Ewok. And that's this lot. Now to move on to the larger scale figures. And finally we have these the larger scale Star Wars figures that I've got. So, we've got Anakin and Obi-Wan. We've got Princess Leia. We have Director Krennic. We've got a couple more Darth Vaders. We've got young Han Solo. A First Order Stormtrooper. A couple of Kylo Rens. One with his mask on and his mask off. We've got old Han Solo. We've got Finn. We've got Luke. We've got politically incorrect Leia. We've got Jyn Erso. We have Rey. BB-8, Poe Dameron, and Admiral Thrawn. So, that's my action figure collection. I hope you enjoyed this thing, because I sure enjoyed watching it. A collection that began its creation in the mid-2000s finally made its way to your screen in the beginning of the 2020s. Now, before I leave, I have an announcement to make. I'm thinking I'm going to do uh, fiction readings of the... Uh, fan fictions that I wrote back in those days that I originally bought all these figures for. If you'd like to see those, let me know. Until next time, this is Fleet Admiral Zero One signing off.